And watch how easy this is. Boom. Pinpoint precision. Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. I'm Paul with Studpack. We get a lot of comments and questions about the type of laser we use and how we mount them, how we adjust them. So we thought we would do a special video just on the lasers that we use on our job sites. I started out with a PLS-5 many, many years ago. It's been a workhorse for me, but it's a five dot laser. I knew I needed to upgrade to a cross line laser, especially when we started doing tile on walls and on the floor. I waited a long time before I got one. I couldn't decide on one. And one of my friends was giving me a hard time. He says, dude, you need a cross line laser. And I said, well, I just can't find the perfect one. And he said, you have a table saw, right? And I said, yes. And he said, you have a reciprocating saw, right? I said, yes. And a jigsaw and a track saw and a miter box, right? And I said, yes, I get your point. Just like there's no perfect saw that can do everything, there's no perfect laser that can do everything. So the laser that I wanted needed to have a vertical line, a horizontal line, and it had to be able to tilt for tile at a 45 or putting up a handrail on a stairway and other things. So I set it on this Bosch right here. Here's the Bosch laser case, nice hard case. And this is what you get. This is the GLL100G, $249. Runs on three AA batteries. You even have storage here for the batteries. Comes with a standard quarter 20 mount. Comes with this bracket. So this will work in two ways. If you're doing acoustical ceilings, it'll clip to the wall angle, or you can flip it over and you can just put it on a nail on the wall. I've actually never used this, and we're going to show you why. It also comes with this mount. It's magnetic. It will go on here. And you have a fine adjust in the vertical axis only, only up and down. So when I purchased this, I also bought a Bosch tripod. Any tripod with a quarter 20 mount here will work. This one's cool as a quick release like that for your laser. It tilts this way if you're doing tile at a 45 or a handrail on a stair. It'll also tilt that direction. But I knew that this would have limitations as far as the height that I needed. So I also bought this Bosch BP350 telescoping pole. It'll work up to ceilings 11 feet high. And this, this was $110. I don't think I said that was 36. Tripods are pretty cheap. This pole also came with this bracket. The laser mounts right there. We'll show you that in a minute. And then the laser clamps to the pole. But it has some limitations. So let's mount the laser and we'll show you those. So we've got our laser set up on the mount that came with this telescopic pole. So let us, let us show you the issues that we were dealing with. We've got a laser target set up on the official stud pack board over there. And I'm gonna to try to get this cross line right there between those black lines that we put up there with a Sharpie. And it's very difficult to move this back and forth. The whole pole is moving. And if you're farther away, it's much more difficult. So you can see how hard it is to line, align the vertical beam it's even harder to align the horizontal beam because you have to slide it up and down this pole. And it moves all over the place. You don't know where you are. And then we also found that as we slid the laser up and down the pole, we actually lost one of the little rubber feet there. And this one's worn out pretty good. So I really didn't like to do it that way. So I started to look online for some options. I figured there has to be a laser mount with fine tune adjustment on it. So let me show you what I found. So this is what I found right here, a Hupar PV10 Plus fine tune laser level adapter. It was $36, very reasonable price and worth every penny. Let's take it out of the box and check it out. It comes with this mount, which I believe is for Hupar lasers only. A magnetic plate you can mount to the wall. But we're not worried about that. Let us show you what we're here for. This guy, two magnets on the back, it attaches to this plate and it can go either direction. It's got the same clip for, a, for an acoustical ceiling. So we know we have two very strong magnets here, right? This part is removable like that. So I went to my local sheet metal shop. I had them cut me a piece of galvanized. I filed that notch in it to match the notch in the Bosch plate. And now I'm able to put this on here, just like that. And now I have a magnetic surface that I can mount 
my Hupar laser tube. Wow. So let's set it up and we'll show it to you in action. So we have our Bosch laser mounted to the Hupar mount, mounted to the Bosch pole. Now check this out. Watch how easy this is to get this crosshair right there without touching this red knob or sliding anything or moving anything. I'm take this knob over here, adjust up. It shakes a little, but not nearly as much. There we go. Right in there. Yep, it doesn't shake nearly as much as before. Now I can fine tune the vertical line. Look at that. See how it just comes right over? A little more, boom. It is that easy. And we love this. It has made all the difference to us in tiling that shower, right, Jordan? Yeah, we use it almost every day. Yep. So let's dive a little deeper into this mount. So like Festool, if it's green, it has a function. You've already, we've already shown you this knob on the vertical axis, and this one rotates the laser to get your horizontal axis. This knob moves the laser back and forth this way. This knob moves it back and forth this way. This knob is actually a finer adjustment on this laser beam. Yeah, why don't, you, why don't you hit that real quick and show how small it's moving. You can put the laser right on that Sharpie line if you if wanted, I wanted to. to. So this is actually a finer adjustment than this one, which rotates the laser. Absolutely. We use this one on the rack and pinion for vertical adjustment, and this one mostly, and this one rarely. So we've even used it like that and set it on the floor before. But let me show you a couple other things this does. You can turn off the individual lasers to save the battery. So there's horizontal only, there's vertical only. The other thing it does in the back here, in the unlocked position, that's when the pendulum is free to move and seek its own level. Right here in the middle, the lock position, that's when you use it to do your angles, like tile work or a railing. And you'll notice the laser blinks when it is out of level. In the unlocked position, when the pendulum is free to swing and find its own level, it stays solid. So you've seen us use this a lot in our recent videos. We use it for framing, laying out lights in a ceiling, putting up the uh, supply grills in a ceiling, installing cabinets, installing tile, hanging mirrors. You can use this to hang pictures so they're all perfectly even if they're all the same size, towel bars in a bathroom. And when a homeowner comes in to your job site and sees you using this, they know they've got a contractor that is striving for precision. This is a game changer for professionals and even homeowners. So the only thing you'll have to make is a steel plate and you really don't even need that notch. Check this out. When you put that in there and tighten this against the pole, this flexes and clamps that tight. See that? It doesn't even move. That's perfect. So if you've been inspired to purchase any of the products we showed you here today, we're going to put links in the description below. Leave us a comment or ask a question. If you have any, we'll be happy to answer those. Like the video, give us that thumbs up. We really appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next one. Yes, sir.